Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing game 504 of the Road to 384, so here we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, looking pretty southern, I've got to say. That looks like that could be the South Carolina plate up there. So yeah, let's get going. And what do we got here? We got Sproul Avenue and... Or Spruill Avenue and then Token Drive. Um, yeah, this area looks like it's seen better days, not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. What does this say? Welcome to Chikora, Cherokee. Interesting. Alright, let's keep going east. Or, oh no, we're going west here, never mind. Yeah, let's keep going west. Just need to see if we can find anything. Alright, here we go. I-26. And... Okay, so we're in South Carolina. So that was a South Carolina plate we saw. Let's see. It's a detour for 26. That's odd. Not really sure what that's all about. Let's see if we keep going down this way. If that'll just take us to 26 normally. Let's see, what is this over here? Noise Set Creek. Actually, I think I'm going to go back because I'll probably actually get us on 26. So, let's actually go back. And make a right here. So, I believe it was this road. Unless if it wasn't. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, so let's keep going then. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just gone that way. Okay, so this is Cosgrove. Alright. Thinking it's probably got to be Charleston or Columbia with what area we're in. Okay, why did it take us off the road like that? There we go. Alright. Tulsi 2020. Wonder how she made it out to South Carolina's billboards like that. Okay, Airport, Columbia, and Charleston. Let's see what exit this is. 216B, so that's making me think Charleston. Uh, let's see. What exit do we got here? Oh, this is literally it. Nice. Okay, so we were on... We came from the north, and we were on... Highway 52, I guess. It says Rivers Avenue, though. That's not right, is it? Yeah, no, I think we were on... Yeah, Spurl. There we go. Okay, so... Now we started on Token, I think it was. Unless if that just wasn't a road. Oh, there it is. Token. And we were just past the railroad crossing. And there we go. 11 yards away in the outskirts of Charleston. Okay, round two. Um, let's see what we got here. Can't really see any plates. What about this one? That looks like a New Hampshire plate. We got the green on the side. Uh, we got Westgate. Okay, so it's both Westgate. Um, have I been on this road before? I don't know why. That sounds familiar for some reason. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know, but if we are New Hampshire, let's go south. I feel like that'll make more sense down the line. And yeah, these New Hampshire roads are notorious for taking a while, so let's hope this time is different. Okay, well we got a light up here. Let's see what street we got. Um, okay, we just signs for the police station. That's not going to help. Actually, maybe it will. Let's see if we can find the police station, find out what town we're in. Oh, so there's Route 28 bypass. Oh, let's see if there's Route 28 in New Hampshire. Yeah, 28B, that must be the bypass. And then, oh, it's literally this road here. And I think Derry is in the Rockingham County area, so that means we'd probably be in Boston. 
Okay, so we are right in between these houses here. And let's take a look at Rockingham County, as we always have to do with these rounds. And yeah, we are in Rockingham County. Okay, let's zoom back out. So we are in the New Hampshire suburbs of Boston. Okay, on to round three. Uh, let's see. This is looking southern, I've got to say. Not sure what part of the south, though. It just looks southern. Let's see, is there an area code we can recognize? 513, I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, let's take a look at this truck. Let me go back for that. Um, it looks very generic, the plate. And... Oh, we actually have a front plate, so we might be in Texas, maybe even Virginia. It's got to be one of those two. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're clearly in the 513 area code, but that really means nothing to me. Oh, enter Hamilton County, leaving Claremont County. Interesting. Well, that... Like I said, that means nothing to me, because I don't know what area we're in to start with. Um, kind of thinking Virginia a little bit more. It seems a little bit hillier. Unfortunately, it's not telling us the name of this road. Um, let's see. Okay, well that's an Ohio plate, so maybe I was seeing an Ohio plate and just didn't realize it. That's probably what it was. And we're by 275. And this is Ohio 126. So yeah, we are just in Ohio. Uh, I think 275 is by Cincinnati. And yes, it is. Um, now I just got to find 126. And here it is over here. Um, let's see now. Oh, we must have been over here crossing the little Miami River. And let's go back to the start. So, yeah, we were by this little area here. Um, let's see. Got to make sure I get this right. Because I feel like I'm missing a key detail. Because something's just not adding up with me. They were over there. <gasps> no, there's an. We crossed the river twice. See, I knew I was missing something. I was just impatient. Oh man. Well, that would explain a lot. <laughs> That's what happens when I don't end up around a lot of roads. But there we were in the Cincinnati area. Okay, round four. We're on a highway. And we're in Ohio again. Look at that. Um, this is exit 140, and I know Oberlin is a college near Cleveland. The question I have, though, is are we on Highway 80 or Highway 90? I'd have to think 90 with the way the exit is, because otherwise it would be like a turnpike. It's Ohio 58. I know Oberlin's around here somewhere. Where is it? Where's 58? That's another question. Let's see, uh... Um, are we seeing a 58? What exit's this, just for reference? 151. Oh, maybe we're on Highway 71. That make any sense? Let's see what exit this is. 204. Okay, never mind. I'm probably really overthinking this. Or hold on. Does US 30 have exits? Because I know it's basically a freeway. Hmm. They're not going to show them. Let's see, because I think 30 might be what we're on. And you know what? I'm just being stupid because I could get off the highway and just see what highway we're on. Why don't we just do that? And it looks like we're on 80 because we have the toll booth. I don't know why I just didn't do that earlier. I was just like, hmm, maybe I could figure this out without moving. 
No, what was I thinking? Okay, but for real, where is it? It's 145. I should know, I've driven on this road many times in my life. Wait, where is it? Okay, I'm going off the exit again, just because this is really stupid. Okay, we are on 80. Why are the exits not matching up then? Why is this 148 and then the other one was 145? That doesn't make any sense at all. It said 140. I'm just blind. You know what? Just just forget about it. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> there we go. We're in the western suburbs of Cleveland. It's probably got to be one of the stupidest moments I've had out there. <laughs> okay. Um... That kind of looks like an unblurred Georgia plate. Uh, let's see. Why are we in Gen 1 now? Really? Okay, let's just go east then. Alright, this is Southwest San Miguel Street, and then this is Albenga Avenue. Let's go north. Okay, really, it's taking us north and west. Okay, let's go south then. Who knows, maybe that'll get us in the right direction. Okay, well here's a main road. It's Alcantara Boulevard. And yeah, let's head east. And, ooh, what do the trash cans say? Port St. Lucie. Okay, so we're in Florida. Alright, so let's head over there. And it's Alcantara. That's said we're southwest. So, it's got to be somewhere around here. Alcantara. There it is. Look at that. San Miguel. And then Albenga. And there's like a gap of houses here. I honestly hate the Florida neighborhoods like this. They're just so ugly. I don't know why you'd ever want to live there. But anyways, there you go. Five yards away in Port St. Lucie. Alright, so that was a game, quite the game. Round 1 was in Charleston, round 2 was Boston, round 3 was Cincinnati, round 4 was Cleveland, and round 5 was Port St. Lucie. Alright, so we were in Charleston for the 14th time. And then round two, we were in Boston. And that's the 54th time there. And then round three, we were in Cincinnati for the 11th time. And then we were in Cleveland for the 28th time. Look at that, two Ohio rounds in a row. Both of them I did terrible on. And then round five was down in Port St. Lucie. And that's the fifth time there. And with that, that'll complete game 504. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.